Still in college football, the Truman State Bulldogs had a tough task of facing 14th-ranked Midwestern State for the second year in a row. TSU took the lead with an opening drive field goal, but they gave it back. Here on third and goal, Vincent Johnson goes up the middle for six yards and the touchdown, and the Bulldogs trail 7-3. Truman State down just 7-6 in the second, fourth, and sixth. Jaden Barr drops back and rolls out right, and he finds Joey Shank over the middle. He goes for 16 yards and the first down, and they're in the red zone. Third and goal from the 10-yard line now. Barr back to pass once again, and he rolls out right once again. This time, though, he finds Kyle Spratt right into the end zone for the touchdown, and the Bulldogs take a 13-7 lead. The Mustangs answered right back, however, and Truman State falls to Midwestern State for the second year in a row, 31-19. The Hill soccer team was home for the third game in a row, facing his third conference foe, Marshalltown. New head man, John Friedel, looking for his second win, and his team got a great start. Five minutes in, Akeem Shackleford gets his pass deflected, but he sticks with it, and he's able to find the corner of the net. That was the winning. That was a start to a winning day. The Warriors top Marshalltown 2-1. to one. Lastly, I can now unveil this week's Play of the Week winner, and it is Noah Talton of Knox County. He used some shifty moves here to break into open space and go all the way into the end zone. The new nominees are revealed tomorrow. That's it for sports. Vanessa is back with one last look at weather when we return.